So now let's talk about these expansion slots. And I know here it says expansion bus, and, and I want to kind of be real clear here. There is a bus, right? There's the actual expansion bus, which again is the, the circuits, it's the highway that allows things to travel from the expansion slots to the processor. Okay, so that's what the expansion bus is. But the actual connectors themselves are slots, not the bus. Okay, so here's an example. Here I'm showing you a number of the expansion slots that you might see on a motherboard. And I've gone to a really old motherboard here so that we can start off by talking about uh, a type of expansion slot that is actually older than what you should be tested on on the exam. Okay, so the first set of slots that we have all the way on the left here are something called the ISA slots. And I will tell you that these ISA slots are, in some cases, if you go far enough back, they are what's known as 16-bit slots. Now, what are these slots for? These slots, they're called expansion slots because they allow extra components to be inserted into the slots. And once you have uh, a card inserted into the slot, very often there will be some kind of connector. And the connector could be internal or external. We'll see this later on. We'll see how certain expansion cards can have either an internal connector to allow more internal devices like maybe some hard drives or external connectors uh, like a video card or a sound card you know things like that now the 16 bits is how wide the highway is right remember how I said the bus is kind of like the highway that we drive <laughs> the buses and the cars and the trucks and everything else on well 16 bits means that 16 bits of information can run side by side with each other Okay, so if you look at the underside of this motherboard, behind these slots, that's where the bus is. Next to the ISA slots, the uh, white ones we have there are the PCI slots. Now, PCI is the closest thing to what we still have in today's world. And uh, we're going to see here in just a moment, there's a lot of variations of PCI. What you're looking at here is an old board with the original PCI slots. Uh, these were the original 32-bit PCI slots. Oh, and I should mention, ISA was 16-bit, and then they also had 32-bit versions. And when we say 32-bit, that means that we now have a 32-lane highway, so to speak, as opposed to a 16-lane highway. Okay, So that means more data can travel from point A to point B faster, right? Because it can all go side by side. Now, it's kind of hard to see here, but there's also a, a, a brown slot here that is also parallel and next to the PCI slots, and that's your AGP slot. And an AGP slot is specifically a video slot. Okay, The idea behind it was that video is very resource intensive. right? I mentioned that before. And you really have high demands in order to make video work. And so we came out with this special type of slot called the AGP slot that could handle faster traffic Okay, matter of fact, it actually stands for Accelerated Graphics Port. And I can tell you that it still was really not that much faster than the PCI slot. Matter of fact, it pretty much, if you look at it, it looks a lot like the PCI slot. It's about the same size, and it looks a lot like it, other than it's brown instead of white. But the AGP slot connected directly to the North Bridge, okay, because it was going to do the video. It was going to do the graphics. Now, I will tell you that although there are still AGP slots out there today, they are quickly being replaced with a newer and better form of PCI slot. Now, speaking of these PCI slots, they come in all sorts of different varieties now. On this illustration, right in the middle, we have our standard 32-bit PCI slot, right? The standard white PCI slots. Down below it, however, we have something called PCI-X which is PCI Extended. Now, the cool thing about the PCI X bus is that this is 64-bit technology. Okay, so now we've taken that old, old, old 16-lane highway, which we could almost think of it almost like a, a two-lane country road, and we took that and we bumped that up to a 32-bit highway, or we could say it's kind of like a four-lane or a six-lane highway, 
And now we have a 64 lane highway, right? With 64 bit. And we can say that that's like some of the super expressways that we have on some of our road systems today. Okay, data can travel really fast on that. Okay, so that's the PCI X. But then up at the top of the screen here, we also have something called PCI Express, or it's also sometimes just known as PCI E. Uh, and I will tell you the E would be a lowercase e. That's, that's how it's illustrated. And it, believe it or not, is the latest and greatest. Okay, it is the newest, it is the fastest, and the most popular expansion bus that is used today. And, you know, because it is the latest and greatest and, and most specifically the fastest, it's also where we end up having a lot of our video connections these days, okay? Our video cards, in order to be able to provide the speeds that are needed for video, are PCIe. Now, speaking of PCIe, on this illustration, here in the middle, we have our standard PCI, right? The traditional white PCI slots. But above and below it, believe it or not, that short little black slot that you have where I have X1 pointing to and that really long slot up at the top, that really long black slot up at the top, those are both PCI Express slots. Okay, matter of fact, you can even see if you look real closely, you can see that it says PCI Express 1 by 16 card. And what do we mean by that? So here's the deal. Now you remember when I was talking about lanes, right? Well, we kind of have the same thing here. The X16, okay, which was one of the original PCIe's that we came out with, is just blazing fast. Okay, it has 16 lanes, and now not it's not 16 bit. Okay, it's like each lane has its own 32 bit highway in it. So it, it it's kind of crazy. It's like its own highway. Okay, it has 16 of these full blown highways. And because that's way more than what really is needed for a lot of very common devices, well, what we did was we also shrunk it down, and we have things like X8, X4, X2, and even X1, this one down at the bottom, this little X1, which is still blazing fast, okay? or we'll say it's faster than your standard PCI slot, that's for sure. The X1 slot very often is just considered to be kind of a general purpose PCIe slot, whereas the PCIe X16 is considered for video. Now, believe it or not, if that wasn't enough about PCI to try to take in, there is one more type of PCI, and that's this Mini PCI and Mini PCI Express. And I'm not going to really talk about it in much detail other than, well, if you look at what we have here, you'll see uh, a type of card that probably fits into what? If you're looking at it. Yeah, laptop. Okay, these are a special type of PCI expansion slot that's specific for a laptop. All right, so uh, that's, that's kind of it for PCI. I think that's probably enough, right? Now, there is another type of expansion slot that I'd like to talk to you about here, and it's what's called a riser slot. Okay, and so we have three of them listed for you on the screen here. Top left, we have AMR, which stands for Audio Modem Riser. And uh, I'm going to tell you point blank uh, that <laughs> the, the number one thing that I want you to remember about the Audio Modem Riser is that it is always in the center of the motherboard. And no, it's not necessarily the perfect center, uh, but as you can see from the illustration here, uh, it's next to the AGP slot, and, and it's in the middle, right? It's in the middle of the motherboard. Whereas if you go down below that, we have CNR, okay, which stands for Communications and Network Riser, and this will always exist on the edge of the motherboard. Okay, so CNR always on the edge of the motherboard, AMR always in the center of the motherboard. Why am I telling you this? Hmm. Let's just say you may be looking to pass an exam, and, and I know that these are the characteristics that are most commonly uh, recognizable when describing these two different types of ports. Now, those are the only two expansion slots, the, as far as the riser slots, that you should be challenged on. But I will mention that there is another type of slot, uh, and, I, and I'm telling you this just as an extra piece of information so that you can, you can understand 
just in case you ever come across it, even though it's considered, uh, I don't know that you see it, really, I don't know if you see any of these much anymore, uh, but ACR, which stands for Advanced Communication Riser, and you'll notice it looks a lot like a PCI slot, right? It looks just like one. It looks like an inverted one, right? This was a slot that was specifically created by a company named ASUS, A-S-U-S, and you'll only find it on ASUS branded motherboards. So these are just kind of an extra little miscellaneous set of expansion slots I want to make sure that you know about before we move on. 